what's up nerds so brett messaged me today and was like is today mh3 and i was like yeah and he said great because i want to make some very bad financial decisions so here we are he bought two boxes we're gonna crack them i said why don't we film it <sighs> film your misery <laughs> yeah. or your excitement can't uh, can't two. trade it back now right i mean you could stop the recording like don't yeah. upload that shit <laughs> <laughs> It's so weird that they're so small and so expensive. Right. The smaller the box, the more expensive it is. Right. Rid of all the, the and then if anybody picks up the uh, buy box promo, the fluster storm, they feel fake. They feel very fake. Yep. And I don't know if that's a new foiling process or something, but yeah, it definitely. There's feel twelve fake. packs. We that's haven't good. been lied to. These are tough to open. Yeah. So I've heard the bottom is easy. No! I don't know if that matters or if it's true. I'm gonna go to the bottom. All right, cool. I got a, a foil soldier token. All right, it's already, it's already nicked itself, at right? the bottom there. Probably from wrenching the pack open. Okay, all right. So I don't know what the, any of the good cards are. One of the chase commons. Except for like Eldrazi. Yeah, that's. We're really just looking for a serialized Eldrazi. This is a great card. It's probably the best uncommon. Let's say we've it. got a reader. It's gonna be every single card. Yeah. Two one for two. First strike. Enters get two energy. Cast it from your hand, use all cards from the top of your library until you exile a non land card. You may cast it by paying energy. That is a really good card, actually. Yeah. This card advantage is in red? What? Commander set? Oh, yeah, there is commander stuff. The this. improvised land. Ooh. This is a very good card. Oh, too. a Tamio. Oh, and nice. it's the surge foil of her? That's probably worth a lot of money, actually. I'll go ahead and just display that one there because it's cool. <laughs> I have no idea how to sort these packs. Oh, I'm just gonna just, <laughs> just squeeze them up and put them back in the, the box. And then we got spawn token slash soldier. I assume. Yeah, go ahead. I assume there'll be quite a few yeah. good cards in these. Ooh, a bullet token. Do you think I'll finally get a map token? I don't <laughs> think there's any maps in this set actually. Alright. You could just order a map token, you know. This card's pretty funny. We got a reader. Yeah. Missions expert reprint. Emerald Seven Nassim. mana, four, four. Prototype for red and three, two, two. Affinity for artifacts. Mayhem. Alright. Emperor of the Bones. Flare Fortitude, so the flare set is the new uh, pitch oh, cast. Free, card, yeah. free card, yeah. So, and then this is. That'll look kind of familiar to you. Swan oh, song, yeah, Swan Song. For, like, yeah. Artifact creature, Planeswalker. Right. Enchantment. That's cool. Do you, want, do you want this one? Sleep. Sure. <laughs> as long as you're a helping hand here. If anyone likes the color of these sleeves, these are uh, Dragon Shield Lagoon Dual Mat Sleeves. That and the Wraith are probably my two favorite colors of the Dragon Shields. The Wraith is the purple. Yeah. Yeah. Snow covered waste. The first printing of that card is in the set. Nice, nice. Uh, probably a commander card. Cool. And then the Soren, the new no, that's Soren. in the set. Well, I mean, it's oh, probably played, it's played for in commander. Gotcha. Cool. Soren is like enchantment a smell, smells. Enchantment smells you have. smells. Have yeah. affinity for auras. Or if you cast an aura spell that targets a modified permanent you control, draw a card. I mean, I guess it's a rare. I can put it. Flip Sorn, if you want to read that guy too. That's one of the better cards as well. I feel like just because this is one of the art varieties, I'll put it in sleeve. These are worth something, aren't they? Yeah, the flares are. They're not all worth a lot. I think the white one's the worst one. Probably. Because white it's always a gets white card. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Two mana, one for lifelink extort. Ooh, I don't DLC. remember what that does. This card is a big hit too. Okay. Okay. It uh, gets imprinted to the Ugin's Labyrinth, the new Tarmogoyf, subtlety old border reprint. It's pretty sick. And then ripples on it. I've seen people like opening like ten of these in a <laughs> in one pack. <laughs> Not in one pack, <laughs> just in one box. It's kind of it's a little silly. I like the old border DRC. I like all the retro frame cards yeah. better than the new ones. 
I'm not sure. Do you want any of these? Yeah, the devourer. I do suck at this. You down with DOD? Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know me. Ooh, a fish token. When this creature dies, create a 6 6 blue whale token. And then when that dies, make a 9 9 kraken. What do you think about the new Full Art Lands? Man, they just need to stop making Full Art Lands in every set. So they were cool, Cooper? and now they're not. That's a pretty sweet reprint that they added in this set. White of the Reliquary. Ooh, this is a pretty big hit too. This card has been, a lot of people have been playtesting the Ocelot Prides, and it's been a pretty strong aggro card. Unfortunately, it's white, so. I mean, white cards are, I mean, white has some good aggro cards, I guess. That's what I was trying to say. There's failed. Definitely going to be a uh, fetch lane in this pack, I think, because we haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Urza's Cave? So that is a new Urza's Land type. Interesting. Alright, what do you think about Old Border? I don't know Kyle I like this. Cards. This is another big hit. This is one of, this is probably the best land in the set. Like, I like Old Border Artifacts a lot, but this just doesn't look right. I am a liar. I did not, in fact, hit. Or it's like, it's missing ink. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's missing yeah, ink. That's, that's the best way to describe it. This is a cool card, though. Yeah, Shifting Woodlands is the new way to put Omniscience into play without ah. paying for Omniscience. It's so a modern it's, way to yes. put ah. <laughs> Modern problems require modern solutions. Right. <laughs> You did the meme. I did the meme. I love that meme. My Iron favorite Genesis, the current meme. meme is the straight to jail. <laughs> I like the 55 fries. That's Are either of these being sleeved? Yeah, might as well sleeve both of them. Okay. I don't want to waste oh. your sleeve. That's what that is. That might be the most expensive card in the set. Nice. So that was so good... less of a poor financial decision now. Yeah. Because it's the full art and it's foil, it is probably the most sought after card in the set. It's gonna be to bend this one in half as I definitely, see Definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely bend test it and make sure it goes all the way to, to fold it in half. Yeah. Okay, but so many people do the bend test incorrectly. It's true. They do it like this, going this way, yeah, it's instead just corner of corner, this right? way. Yeah. yeah. Also, I'm just done. Like, if you need to bend test a card, you probably need to learn how to detect fake cards hey, better. Hey, we got one. Ooh, ooh. I already have four Flood Strand Foils, so I don't want to sell that. And we got one Swept Heath, so double Fetch Land pack. Nice. And a Foil Arch. Makes up for that pack you lied to us about. Right. I've been seeing like two to three Fetch Lands per, per box that so people have been opening on online. This, yeah, this is good. Yeah, that's that's definitely a commander card. I just saw the mythic color on the symbol, so it's like, yeah, I probably fuck that. Oh, that's a pretty sweet looking old border. It's a common Ooh, Mob's Dreadsire. Actually, it's not a bad card. One mana draw card and get two energy. Seems pretty good. Uh, big fan. The new Necropotents. Oh, yeah. They're like, yeah, it's fixed. Actually seems really broken. Doesn't just because they improved it doesn't mean it's not still yes. broken. It's different, but yes, yeah, also still broken. Uh, notably better with Shieldred, the Apocalypse. So that card, you know, probably gonna get banned in Modern at some point. Nah. Because it has the best word in Magic written on it. Draw. And it's not even blue. Decree of Justice reprinted at Uncommon. Oh reprinted gosh. for the 157th time. Just one of the weird foils, right? The oh, it's textured foil. Yeah. Shillingar, Sire of Famine. 
And another Ugin's Labyrinth. Non-foil, but full art. That's pretty oh, sick. Yes. And another etched foil. Oh, that was a good pack. Maybe this, is, this wasn't such a bad financial. <laughs> I mean, the real question is, are you going to sell things to recoup money, or are you just going to hoard them? Uh, I'll probably hoard most of them. Like, most of the playable foils, at least, because I've become that guy. I do like... I think that that much purple just makes the card pop. It looks good. I don't even know if the card That's good. Can you put treasure token? That's pretty cool looking on huh? Island. And another old border foil of meltdown. Sweet, sweet. Delta. Delta. Same pack. Double Delta? Double Delta? Well that's kinda cool. Advisor, but foil this time. Six, six, six. Alright. No Drazi so far, right? Just the just the one seven mana guy? Yeah. And then this etched foil. Like how I put this thing up here and not stack any cards yeah. on top of it. Like <laughs> I, like I don't think the it's, rabbit man. Yeah, it, there's no reason for that. It's just my brain doesn't want me to put a card there. That's fair. Did you get a new new Lamog? Brain surge, the new fixed brainstorm, right? New ripples of things. I mean, I guess it's three, which is like Spy Master's Vault, Psychic Frog. I like this art a lot. That is a cool art perk. And then. The new best card for a way weenie deck as well. That card's actually pretty sweet. All right, box two. Wait, wait. What? We're gonna oh. stop the video. Oh yeah. Make him come back for another video. That's right. See, See you tomorrow.